I've done a bunch of work on what I call the open-close technique. And basically, I got involved with this because I saw, you know, it's the, it, this thing. It's my left hand, which is why it's slower. <laughs> um, basically, this was around for a long time. I've seen a lot of guys. Some guys, the first guy I ever saw do it could go so fast. It was like, and you could talk to him, hey man, how you doing? Want to get something to eat? You know? I mean, just unbelievable. Uh, he was trying to put, he said, I'm going to work on it. This hand, put them together, have the world's fastest single stroke roll. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, he never did uh, figure out how to do that. I ran into him about 10, 15 years later after the first seeing him do it, and I asked him, and he never did it. So I got intrigued by this. I tried doing it, I would, didn't have success with it. But when I got involved with the school, I thought, you know, I got all this downtime when I'm on the road uh, waiting to play for the show. Why don't I look at this? And basically, what this, this isn't a technique, it's a definition of what happens with the mechanics of a double stroke, and it's how a double stroke is gotten. Basically, all you're doing is you, when you drop down here, you're letting go, you, say, you could say you're moving into finger position, finger strokes, right? Because my wrist isn't moving, my fingers are just making the stick bounce. And I stop, I close my hand. Finger strokes. Stop. Now, I don't have to play finger strokes. If I go down to get ready to play finger strokes and then change my mind, eh, I'll come up. Ooh. This is a mechanic that a lot of people use for playing shuffles or double stroke rolls. That's what's happening is you've got this opening and closing of the hand. What this, what this does is it just defines the mechanics of a double stroke. Once you understand this, if we look at a double stroke very slowly, when I'm doing this stuff, I'm trying, I'm trying to go down. This is my open position called the little V, the little V. Closed position, the big V, the big V, little V, little V, big V. If we count sixteenths, one E and a two E and a three E and a four, but playing eighth notes, right? I can, because I've got these as two separate movements, I can decide when that close stroke happens. So let's delay it a little bit. From we were playing eighth notes, one e and a two e and a 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 and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. Now that doesn't sound sound like much, but if I gradually increase the speed, just falling. And it's like, you're just relaxing. I mean, how many times have you seen, play me some flams? And I was like, you know. <laughs> it's just, and this is, this is like falling off of a log, you know? The other thing you can do with this is that, you know, I can delay this even more, as so I was closing it on the ah. Uh, if I close it on B2, one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a, I can put this hand in between. One E and, sorry, one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. So I've got a different kind of single stroke roll. So I've got three things I can play with double strokes. Double stroke roll, flams, double stroke roll, single. I came up with this, I figured this, 
this single stroke roll thing out. I made a video and I sent it out uh, and I got, it was very interesting. I got some people that said, huh? Eh? Uh, and then I had uh, this following responses. Ed Shaughnessy from The Tonight Show called me. There was a message on my phone machine. Oh my God, Gordy, oh my God. You have written this, your technique, you've created a, a, an historically important technique that's as valid as molar. As a, I just went, wow. So, I mean, it's really, it's an interesting thing. Um, I can't for, you know, I'm not as facile with it as I can all, could always be. But um, this thing is not the big deal with this. To me, the big deal with this is that it allows you to play. You can take, uh, um, for example, that, that flam. Delaying? I'm delaying both hands. If I only delay one hand. Delay the other hand. And I kind of went, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, then I started to say, well, what happens if you put a single in front of this? So if we had a two doubles and we put a single in front of it, or pardon me, single behind it, end it with a single, or you know, we start with a single. I've got two doubles there. So the two doubles, I could what if I delayed both of those close strokes? So this is my five stroke roll again. Now delay. Okay. I said, well, what would happen if I put the, one of those asymmetrical doubles where I'm only going to delay in one hand? So I will delay the last double. Who knows what rudiment that is? No, flam drag. So it's like I kept, I, I started dissecting this stuff with building blocks and it was like, oh my God, I can make all of the, all of the P, uh, PAS rudiments and I'm showing their relatives too. You can insert that little interwoven four doubles, flams, singles. So it's all the same thing. Basically what I found was, you know how they've got the, percuss the, the rudiments, they've got the diddle rudiments, the roll rudiments, the flam rudiments, and the drag rudiments, and they've got them all stacked up by sound. Looking at it this way, I can see that they're actually a relationship that goes across the, the uh, goes across the chart. I can show you that there's a way of seeing that the single paradiddle, the single drag tap, and the flam accent are all built from the same mechanical thing. So that when you learn the mechanics of one, you can, once you understand how to alter it and slightly change it, you've got the mechanics of the other. The final thing I want to mention with this um, is that it, again, it, this dropping thing, it's this gravity thing, finding, letting, you know, it's like we have tension because I'm holding and I relax. I release. Tension, release. Tension, release. Again, just letting, letting gravity, letting stuff fall. It's like upside down drumming. 